Well, good morning. A little bit of a humid start out there as you look outside on the Syntax Roof Systems camera at the Killeen Regional Airport. You can see a little bit of that fog there in the distance trying to build under clear skies. Thankfully, though, those skies are clear. No rain out there this morning. And I really don't anticipate much of that coming through the day today. Still, we have some patchy fog out there and spots of di to below three miles now. The visibility there in Hearn and in San Saba. So you might want to give yourself just a little extra time on that morning commute. Know there's going to be another humid one as well. The live radar network quiet at this time, which is good news. Low to mid 70s out there currently. 73 in Waco, 72 in Temple and 75 in Bryan College Station. So most areas hanging around in the mid 70s here as we begin your Tuesday. That's where we'll start it. We'll get into the lower 80s by noon and this afternoon going to turn warmer upper 80s and lower 90s. That means it may feel like it's in the mid to upper 90s here later on this afternoon thanks to the humidity that will be in place. South winds hanging around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now I do think things will be mainly quiet today. Models have been hinting at the potential for an isolated thunderstorm to develop out here on the Lano uplift. And if that does get going, it is possible it works into central Texas. If it does so, could bring some hail, some high winds, maybe some uh, heavy rainfall with that. But again, that's a very small chance, about a 20% chance. So hopefully we'll keep that at bay and keep things quiet here today. Cloud cover builds back in overnight. We'll see a cold front get close to us tomorrow. And as it gets closer to us, it will squeeze the atmosphere. So I think we end up a little warmer tomorrow, getting close to 90. I don't anticipate the 100 you're seeing on the map here out towards San Saba, but low, mid 90s, certainly possible west of I-35. We'll have the south breezes around as well. And as that cold front gets closer to us into Thursday, I think that's where we'll see the better chance of rain setup. But even that doesn't look incredibly widespread, only about a 40% chance with that. Still, we'll monitor it closely. So with the exception of maybe an isolated thunderstorm today, notice those rainfall amounts stay rather low here over the next few days, which is good news. Again, we need to let that water drain down our rivers, get to our lakes, which are near 100% full, almost all of them near 100% full, if not higher. So we'll still have the lakes coming up, but hopefully we can get the waters receding out of those flooded areas. Here we are Wednesday again, those storm chances hanging around into Thursday. It does look like we may have some off and on little shower chances working through the weekend. And then heading into next week, we may get into more of an active pattern. The model's trying to latch onto that now and notice those rain totals coming up. That'll be something to watch, but thankfully, at least for the next five to 10 days, or at least the next five to seven days, rather, it looks like things will be quiet, and that's good news. Isolated chance of thunderstorms today, maybe a few thunderstorms tomorrow into Thursday. Then we're quiet Friday, Saturday, some passing showers Sunday. Here comes that more active pattern next week as we get into the mid-80s. But before that, we're going to enjoy a nice little cool down into the 70s. Morning lows could dip into the 50s, so a nice little cool down here for May. And then back into the mid-80s heading into next week. Yay, we're hearing cheers.